Hi YouTubers and welcome back. I had the great uh, experience of being able to attend a Tesla Fest meeting in Ohio hosted by Roger in this first picture. There was some really great stuff to be had at the swap meet. Here is Roger as well as some other attendees from faraway places. Most of the people had driven over several hours. Now here was the cat. He was really interested in the high voltage displays from the Tesla coils. Here's Bert Hickman. He had some fascinating fractals that he generated by irradiating polycarbonate with high energy electrons. These were in the mega electron volt range. And here's some of the Lichtenberg figures produced in the polycarbonate plastic. Definitely go ahead and check out Bert Hickman's channel on YouTube to see how this was done. Now here's a regular DRSST Tesla coil. Now here is a vacuum tube Tesla coil. Look at the beautiful sword arcs. Most of these coils were on display and running. Here's the output from the vacuum tube Tesla coil. This was run with a staccato controller which is ramped by the mains input. Here are some stills. Now this amazing coil is Archangel's QCW pancake coil, which produces the longest arcs from a pancake coil known to date in the world, I believe. Here's it in action, and you can actually touch the output of the coil, although I wouldn't recommend this. Here's it in action again. And it wasn't turned all the way up. Now here is the highlight of the show, Roger's massive spark gap double resonant DC powered Tesla coil putting out 20 foot plus arcs which were all over the place and extremely bright and extremely loud. It has to be seen to be believed, it's really truly amazing. Now here is another of Roger's record breaking coils, this is a huge uh, vacuum tube coil which can be run continuous mode or pulsed. And it's got a really big tube. Here's him about to run it. And look at those arcs. They're extremely bright and extremely hot, but quiet because they're ramped type sparks over many milliseconds. Now watch what's gonna happen when you add strontium nitrate to the breakout point of the Tesla coil. This is intensely red. It was so intensely red that all I could see was blue when it was done. Here's a couple of still pictures. Now here's the same thing after adding boron to the breakout point. Look how green that is. It's kind of this apple green. Now here's a regular QCW coil that I made and uses an asynchronous buck um, to run the ramp. And there was some pretty good output. I doped the tip with lithium chloride so you get this kind of pinkish color. The arcs were great and it was nice and quiet and fun to watch. Now here's another coil that I made, which is a Mazzilli, direct Mazzilli driven double resonant Tesla coil. And it's running off of small TO247 transistors. And look at that output. It's running exactly like a tube coil would run, except that it uses transistors. Now here's some of the guys uh, watching the wireless transmission demonstration by Archangel in which he was able to transmit power over several feet at good efficiency. Now here is the big coil and the slightly smaller coil next to it, both of them huge. And here are some stills of the output of the big coil, the big double resonant spark gap coil. Here's some Crooks tubes that were on display. And here's an electroplating or other kind of device. And here are some of the items that we were able to get at the swap meet. All in all, we had a wonderful time and there were a group of us that shared a common interest and this hobby brought us all together in a small town in Ohio.